Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about accessing the HTML on your website using JavaScript. So I'm going to show you how you can access individual HTML elements on your website only using JavaScript. So this is really cool. You can use JavaScript and you can grab different HTML elements. You can modify them. You can change their styling. You can change different attributes about them all just from the JavaScript. And I'm gonna show you guys the basics of doing that today. So over here on my little website, I have two things. The first thing is a header one, it just says JavaScript. And the second is a link, and this is linking to the Draft Academy website. I wanna show you guys how I can access those elements from inside the JavaScript and modify certain things about them. So if you look over here in this index.html file, I just wanna point out a couple things about this. The first thing is down here, this header one, just a basic header one, but we've given it an ID of header. So it has an ID set and that ID is called header. And this link down here has an ID of link. I've also given this link an href and it's just the Draft Academy website's URL. And then finally down here below both of these elements, below the H1 and the anchor tag, we have the script tag. So this is where my JavaScript is getting imported into the file. And so these are all really important. I just wanted to point uh, these different things out before we get started. So let's try to access this header on our website from inside the JavaScript. If I wanna access a specific element, I can use um, a certain JavaScript function. So we're gonna type document dot, and now we want to type in the JavaScript function that will allow us to grab an element from the HTML. We can say get element by ID. And inside of these parentheses, I want to type in the ID of the element that I want to grab. So in my case, I can just say header. So that header one that I just showed you guys had an ID of header. And so if I say document.get element by ID header, it's actually going to get this document or it's actually gonna get the header. So what I can actually do is store this inside of a variable. So I'm gonna create a variable and I'm just gonna call it header and we'll set it equal to this entire thing. And so now this header is actually gonna store inside of it the H1 element that's on our HTML page. So over here, this whole statement right here, document.getElementById header is going out to the HTML and it's saying, okay, wh where is an element on the page that has an ID of header? Whichever element has that ID, it's gonna grab that element, and in our case, we're gonna store it inside of this header variable. So that's basically what's going on. So I wanna show you, once we have this stored inside of a variable, we can do certain things to it. And the first thing we could do is we could actually modify what the header is saying. So we can modify what's inside of the actual header tag, and I can say header dot inner HTML. And this is a, another sort of like attribute. So this header is actually what's called a JavaScript object. And basically what that means is it just has certain information that we can access about it. And one of those pieces of information is inner HTML. And that's basically what's inside of those header tags. So I can set this equal to overridden. And when I refresh the page, you'll see that instead of saying JavaScript, this is now gonna say overridden. Because I've actually overridden the text that was inside of that H1, and I've inserted my own text. So I could say like Mike's new H1 here. Basically anything that I put inside of these quotation marks is gonna go inside of this H1. So basically I'm using this document.getElementById function, I'm grabbing the element that I want, and then I'm storing it inside of a variable, and I'm changing the inner HTML. Now I wanna point something out before we go any further, which is uh, the location of this script tag. So if you notice down here, this script tag is stored below the H1 and this link. And that's actually significant. Remember that this script tag is where this JavaScript is getting inserted into the page. So if I was to take this JavaScript statement and put it up here above the H1 and the link, you'll notice that this is actually gonna stop working. And so all the changes that I made to this header one are actually gonna go away. And the reason behind that is because I'm actually executing the JavaScript inside of this script 
before I create the H1 or the link. So the browser basically goes and executes this JavaScript file and it does everything inside of it. But when it does that, this header one and this link haven't been created yet. So since the header one hasn't been created, there's no element on the page with an ID of header. And therefore, none of what I'm doing is gonna work, right? When I say get element by ID, there's no element with header because it hasn't been created yet. So I wanna make sure that I put these script tags below the elements that I wanna access. And that's just like some basic housekeeping rules. So let's go back to the script tag and see what else we can do. Inside of this script.js file, I'm just changing the inner HTML, but I can actually change other things as well. So you'll see this will start working now because I moved the script tags back. One thing I could do is modify the style. So I can say header.style and I can actually access an individual attribute from inside the style. So I can say dot color, for example, and color is a CSS attribute that we would put inside the style and I can modify the color. So I could say red. So basically what I'm saying is header.style.color. So I'm accessing one of the CSS attributes for this HTML element and I'm setting it equal to red. So what you'll see over here is that this header now gets turned red. So I'm modifying the color. I could also modify other things. So I could, in addition to modifying the color, I could also modify like the background color. So I could set this equal to blue. And you'll see now we have a background color of blue and the text is colored red. So you can access individual CSS attributes from inside of this header variable by referring to the style. And so that's one way that we can modify stuff about this header. But let's say that we wanted to modify something about this link. So I'm gonna change this header over here to link and we'll get, instead of getting the header, we're just gonna get that link attribute. So I'll say link. And now this link variable should give me access to this link down here. So you'll notice when I click this link, it brings me to draftacademy.com, brings me to the Draft Academy website. But I could actually modify that href attribute from inside my JavaScript. So I could say link.href and now whatever I put in here is gonna be the value of the href. So I could say like amazon.com and now instead of linking me to draftacademy.com like I specified over here inside of the HTML, it's gonna link me to amazon.com. So when I refresh the page, I click this, you'll see instead of going to draftacademy.com, I went to amazon.com. So really once I have access to this link variable and otherwise once I've, once I've gotten the element from the document, I can access any of the attributes that would normally be inside of that element. So href is an attribute that is inside of this link tag, right? I have href right here. So I can modify that just by referring to it by name. Style is another attribute that we could put in here, right? So for the header, we were able to modify the style. Normally you would say style is equal to whatever and then you put your style text in there. But from my JavaScript file, I was able to modify the style. And if you wanted, instead of referring to each one of those individual style attributes like we did with the header, I could just say, link dot style and basically just give this whatever style I wanted. So I could say, you know, color blue or let's do red. And now this link is gonna have red text. You know, so you could put an entire CSS string inside of here and it'll modify the style. So the point is that we can grab elements off of the screen, off of the HTML and then we can modify them. We can do whatever we want to them. I can change what's inside of them. I can change the style. I can change the href. I can change any attribute inside of that HTML element and it'll update on the page just like it does here. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.